This is a 50 amp ideal diode I just got. Last video we tested a, a 3 amp diode and we're going to test this one the same way and see if, it, if it's any better. So uh, take a look at it. Here's, here's the setup over here. I've got, uh, I'll turn that off. Now I've got the same setup. I've got the two diodes and, and, a, uh, and going into a 12 volt lamp here, okay? And this is the voltage for the first diode, current for the first diode. This is the uh, voltage on the second diode and current for the uh, second diode here. We're going to turn the first one on. There we go. And we'll put that up to 12 volts. Something like that. And we have 0.44 amps on it. And the, and the light is lit here. Now the two diodes are both tied to the uh, output. Uh, the two outputs are tied to the load here, the, uh, the lamp here. So, and so there's no voltage coming back and no current coming back on this uh, on the second through the second diode there now I'm going to turn that one off and turn this one on and that works fine too at 12 volts here 0.43 amps and nothing coming back this way and uh, the other diode that we had worked the same way it worked just like that that was fine we had an issue when uh, we had them both on here they're both on and when we turned one off, the, uh, the gate would stay open. It wouldn't shut down. So uh, we'll shut this one, turn this one off. And here we are. You can see the gate shutting down on that thing. It does take a little bit of time, but it's going to shut down. And no, no voltage is going to come back on, that, uh, on this unit here. We'll turn that one back on. And then we'll turn this one off over here. And same thing, the, the voltage. Uh, takes off of that one so that that's working good so I won't get any voltage back on my uh, my batteries you know not for very long anyway now so what I did is I, I reverse engineered it let's get rid of this stuff here here, here it is here okay I'll turn that off okay So, what I did is the the, uh, the diode in it, or the MOSFET, is uh, it was actually on the unit, and uh, it's a uh, 86062 MOSFET, and so it's actually good for 80 amps or 300 amps. But and this unit is good for 50 amps. But they say if you have uh, uh, at that, you need a, more of a heat sink on it. So that's the that's the MOSFET. It's an N-channel MOSFET, and then. There's a little chip on the unit, and which they, they scraped off the uh, the number on it, and uh, but what I think it is is it's it's a um, ideal diode controller, and I'm thinking it's this uh, LTC uh, 4357, and uh, there's eight pins on it, but uh, most of the pins, the three of them aren't being used on the, on the on the unit itself. So what happens here is the gate pin goes high. When the load current creates more than 25 milli, millivolts of, of voltage drop across the MOSFET, okay? And if the load current is small, the gate is driven to maintain that 25 millivolts across the MOSFET. If the reverse current develops more than minus 25, the gate is connected to the in pin, which is your source here, and that turns off the MOSFET. So you take the gate to the source, and so VGS is going to be equal to zero. That's going to drain the... Uh, Drain the capacitance out of the um, out of the gate there. So, and what they have is they have a couple uh, voltage comparators inside the chip here. And uh, when they see this this volt, you know, this voltage over here is higher than this voltage, they they take and uh, turn this this comparator on, and it it activates this little transistor in there, and so it ties the gate to the the source here and drains it off. So that works good. The only other way to do it, or another way to do it is to uh, use a p-channel MOSFET and an NPN uh, transistor pair. These, these come in a package together because they have to be matched. And, uh, but it, it, uh, it doesn't drain the, the gate as fast as this system here. So these chips are made for these ideal diodes. So this is the way to go. And uh, it seems to, be, uh, seems to be working out fine that way. So uh, I'm gonna 
put it on my uh, bat, uh, solar system thing and uh, see, you know, see if I see how it works. And uh, we'll get back to you with that. So thank you.